Good morning guys, um, today I'm going to walk through and show you how to use the work equation um, to calculate work. So we learned about work yesterday and we talked about how a force has to be applied and the object has to move through a distance in order for work to be done. So today we're going to plug in some numbers and do some problems with this equation. Alright, so looking at the equation, W stands for work. And remember yesterday we talked about the units of measurement for work is something called a joule, so capital J for joule. Um, F in the equation stands for force, just like um, we've already used with Newton's laws. And we know that force is used, measured in Newtons, so N for Newton. And then D stands for distance, and the standard unit of measurement um, is going to be the meter. All right, so going back to the equation, to calculate work, you're going to take the force applied to the object and multiply by the distance that the object moves. And remember, we can solve for any of the variables um, as long as we're given the other two. So since there are three variables, we can use the triangle method. And remember, F and D, force and distance, are side by side in the equation. So they need to be side by side in the triangle. And that leaves work to go in the top spot of the triangle. Remember, when the numbers are side by side, that means multiply. If one is on top of the other, then you're going to divide. To always top, divided by bottom. All right, so let's practice um, work through a problem together. Let's say that a worker who weighs 600 newtons climbed the stairs from the third to the fifth floor, which is a height of 18 meters. How much work did she do? All right, so it gives us in the problem, we know we're trying to solve for work, how much work did the person do? And we know that she weighs 600 newtons. So in this case, the person is the object, and her weight is the force that she's moving. Okay, so remember again, your clue here is that when you see a unit of newton, you know that's the force value. All right, and it says that she um, climbed the steps from the third to the fifth, which is a height of 18 meters. So the distance that the person is moving through is 18 meters. So if we want to calculate how much work the person did to climb two flights of steps, um, we're going to substitute in. You can either do the triangle or just substitute in the equation. I'm going to show the triangle method. So the force in this case is the weight of the person, 600 newtons. The distance moved is 18 meters. And so remember, when the numbers are side by side, that means to multiply. So we're going to, to calculate work, we're going to take 16 or sorry, 600 newtons, and multiply by 18, and you should get an answer of 10,800 joules. And remember, that is how much work the person performed to move themselves, their weight, of 18 meters. All right, let's do another problem. Okay, this one says, how much force is applied by a dump truck? So now we're not solving for work, we're solving for force. And it tells you that the dump truck calls 1,500 joules. Okay, so remember, if you see a unit of joules, that's going to be your W, that's going to be your work. And it says it hauls it over a distance of 300 meters. So your D, your distance, is going to be 300 meters. So same thing, draw the triangle or plug into the equation. Okay, so my force is what I'm solving for in this problem. Uh, my distance is going to be 300 meters, and work, which goes on top, is going to be 1,500 joules. So now I have one number on top of the other. That tells me I'm going to divide. So top divided by bottom, 1,500 divided by 300, and my answer would be 5 newtons or force. All right, last one, one last quick example. Okay, number three says, let's say that I um, have a car in my driveway, I need to move it, so I'm going to push my car with a force of 800 newtons. Um, but it does not move. How much work did I do on the car? So my distance, if the car doesn't move, then it went a zero meters, right? The distance would be zero. So for work, how much work? Then I'm going to plug in, solve for W. My force is 800 newtons, um, and the distance is zero meters. So how much work did I do? Zero joules. Remember, for work to happen, 
you apply force, but the object has to move. So car didn't move, there was zero work performed. All right, guys, I hope that helps. You guys are going to have um, 10 problems to solve. Um, work those out on paper, use your calculator, use the triangle method, and submit. This will be for a grade. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.